A number of dairy uh, goats across the United States has increased by 60% over the past decade. It's according to numbers from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Well, one Siouxland family jumped on this goat's milk fad a few years ago, but KCAU 9's Tasia Nevels tells us it's led to a much bigger business for the Sheldon family. Tasia? Yes, Bridget, Shannon DeHogg already has her hands full raising eight children, but now she's added some dairy goats into the mix, spurring a business that's now helping people all over the world. She does produce quite a bit of milk. Shannon DeHogg visits her big red barn twice a day to milk four female goats she purchased for a new hobby. Our cats love it, the dog loves it, but a lot of what we produce goes into the soaps and lotions. Her goat's milk is the main ingredient in Big Red Barn soaps and lotions, a small business she operates from her home in Sheldon, Iowa. I started off with the goats. I wanted to experiment with some dairy, and I knew that a dairy cow would be too much production for our family. This is all a manual process, and the filter will um, strain out anything that you wouldn't want to have in the milk. What began as a hobby quickly evolved into a purpose. Shannon found out her products could be used to help people with sensitive skin and skin conditions. This gives me actual contact with adults, so that's part of it. But also, these adults, they're looking for something. They're looking for product, and usually they're looking for a reason. Um, they, you know, they've got some kind of skin issue going on, or, or their kids, or someone else they know, or even they're just looking for something that isn't full of chemicals. She produces lotions, soaps, face masks, lip balms, and more with her goat's milk, all organically produced on her property and sold throughout Siouxland. To, to be able to have relationship with those people, to say, I know you have a need, I think I can help, and then to see the joy in their lives, having found something that, a, a product they can be proud of and one that can really help them and, and support what their, uh, whatever their issue is, um, that's really fun. This is her second year producing and selling her products, and she makes about 300 bars of soap each week. And she's also getting already preparing for the holiday season. In the newsroom, Tasia Nevels, KCAU 9 News.